latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm Taylor Himness. Here are some top stories we're following for you on your Wednesday morning. Today's the last day to register to vote in Missouri. Deadline is 5 o'clock this afternoon. You can do so by voting or you can register online by mail or in person. In Kansas, the deadline to register is just under a week away, October 13th. Now, once you've registered, there are several ways to submit your ballot this year. In Missouri, you can vote in person, of course. You can also vote in person absentee ahead of Election Day if you are qualified to do that. Absentee voting also available through the mail, but you need to get your ballot notarized unless you provide a reason, like being in an at-risk category for COVID-19. Finally, the mail-in voting option. No excuse needed, but a notary is required. Demonstrators were outside City Hall for the fifth morning in a row this morning. They're occupying City Hall and say they will not leave until their demands are met. That includes either the firing or resignation of Police Chief Rick Smith from KCPD and a decrease in the city's police budget. Right now, the City Council and the mayor do not have any plans to make those demonstrators leave the area. Tonight, Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris of California will stage for the vice presidential debate in Salt Lake City. Both candidates have tested negative for COVID-19 ahead of that debate. Tonight, they'll be 12 feet apart from each other on the stage, and there will also be plexiglass uh, between the two of them as well. NBC will have live coverage of tonight's debate. You can watch it tonight at 8 o'clock right here on 41 Action News. Let's get to Lindsay Anderson now with your forecast. It's a comfortable start out there this morning with lows that are near 60 degrees. We'll eventually warm up fast today, 75 by the lunch hour, then 87 to 89 for a high temperature this afternoon. Lots of sunshine, winds are light, and that warm weather will last into the weekend. Cooler air not arriving until early next week.